Matasia is suffering for, from psychotic depression, and I said psychotic depression occur when a person has severe depressions, but plus form of psychosis. Eh? Before I read Nairobi Health Life in 2010, uh, I was doing a master's degree in criminology at the Department of Social Security at the University of Nairobi. May the Lord keep us. I'm hey. telling you. I didn't want to be famous, you know. mm. and I didn't want to be a one kind of story person. Nairobi Health Life yes. is a chance for those people who don't have. If we can, uh, we can take uh, him to Mother Hospital, he can be helped. The problem has been this. <sighs> It is finance. I could have to an Amelie. Yes, I can feel it. <laughs> There's another script <laughs> screaming to come out. <laughs> And he's thinking, eh, just a couple of months in Madari, that's all. Imagine. Uh, the other one is also a future film uh, called Nairobi Hustle. Thank you. Wow. Yes. Why? Now the problem is that uh, it, it has so many issues. We we came to discover that uh, it's not only the issue of uh, because most of them will tell us that uh, because of lack of job. Mm -hmm. the, the reality is not about job. The reality is that uh, people uh, there is so many issues which is contributing to that, and we have a lot of genetic issue. Mm -hmm. which is also being mental illness because some many mental illness is connected also genetically. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are a drug addict and uh, you, you, you become, you are really a drug addict and uh, you, if you happen that uh, you have your child, your child normally, it is not automatically to become genetic uh, or the, a drug addict. But the third generation, that means your grandson, might become vulnerable to be addictive to drugs. But okay, the question is, uh, yeah. they resort to this, right? They become <clears throat> addicts. Yes. Because it's available, because they it's want cheap, to drown. Uh, well, they're, they're, uh, they're escaping something. Mm -hmm. What I mean, you know, help me out here. Yeah, we we have gone there to the field. I'm eh? going to home and the sea, and what is happening? Get the reasons why young men we find them and all the people are becoming addictive in drugs, and also some some of the mental cases. We find that uh, apart from job, which can be one of them, the, the there is this problems of. Uh, cultural, social, cultural issue, because uh, uh, people after this. Wait, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Doctor, yeah. yes. How many of these cases do you and your colleagues ha run into on, on, on a given day? How many of like Charles and people like that? You know, they start occurring every day. We are in Wangiki Market, and you will find that every day we have new people coming just to discover that they are coming just from around eh? wow. because what happened the mental most of the mental cases these people are chained at home yeah. Yeah. so they don't want even the neighbor don't know that there is a relative here who is sick because of shame because yes, of uh, because of the trauma about so uh, for us we have for now around 115 mm. we pick here in Wangige alone in uh, Wangige Kiamba uh, Kiamba, we, Kiamba we can say Kabete Kiamba and Kikuyu does yeah. Kiamba include banana you? yes oh. it can include banana yeah and those are oh. just few yeah. I tell you very few yeah. but when we go to our our when, when we go to our list and check everybody we, we have more than 800 okay is it mostly men or also uh, the women as well what's the breakdown yes they are women and the, and the men but men are mostly affected more they are mostly affected yeah. men yeah and uh, there is one thing we have been saying huh? mm. in the side of the government right. because if we are having a lot of mental people in our country, mm -hmm. it also really uh, disturbs our economy. 
Because if all of us are working, we are mentally uh, uh, fit. They is productive. Correct. Now, these people who are mentally sick are not productive at yeah. all. Yeah. Because of their, that, those conditions. But how can they can be helped in that, yeah. that way? Because we have been really struggling, getting, and sometimes it, it has not been easy. Their family, some family, will literally attack us. Because they Fear don't has always to try to be Kamau and be less of my guy. That's yeah. fake. That's fake. Yeah. I, I thought I was going to grow up to be like Kamau. Sure. But I, I, I think along the way I was like, no, maybe I'd rather be like Rastafari. You have a big task ahead, Doctor, to mm. help this man. Yes. And I know Doctor Costa, you as well. Yes, I mean, yes. look, uh, mm. he is not unique. There's many yes. like him. Yes. You say you run into them yeah. every single yeah. day. Every mm. single yes. day, every minute. Even today, if I could have opened my place, yeah. you pass by there when I'm here, it's run by patients. Yeah. You, find them, uh, you find them in and out, in and out. Mm. They relax there, and they can't steal anything from you. Tell it. me something. Mm. Are, are some of your patients committing suicide? Yes. You know, they, they, they are. Yes, yes, they do. Yes. Yes, we have cases in which, in the, speaking to the mic, yeah. Oh, so. yeah. we have cases uh, of uh, suicides, yeah. not even once or twice, several times. Well, well, they just can't take it anymore, no. or what is it? The problem is that uh, when a, a, a mental person is taking, uh, want to commit suicide, huh? Uh, you might not know what is going on, but for those uh, who have been coming, who have case of depression, there are some signs you can hear. He can tell you even before. Oh, the the phone, yeah, because <laughs> I, I mean, yes, you can yeah, you understand. Yeah. I think most people will say yeah. this. Tiboti. Wa gigi. Wa gigi. Umesikia banana hii? Ukai. Tumefika jibani. Tumefika jibani. And more, the numbers. Yeah, the numbers are eight. Men. Yeah, Timothy. More men than Timothy, I'm going to bring you in a little short while. Let me just ask uh, Paul Tash here. Um, in fact, you can, you can switch chairs. You can, you can sit over here, Timothy. Uh, in the meantime, Charles. Uh, so when you were begging, or you know, when you're back, when you hit the streets, and you go to a, up to a car window, and you're, you know, obviously, you know, inside here, inside whatever, and they look at you, and they say, man. This is Potash. Mm. This is the Nairobi Half Life guy. He's oh. not a king, man. Go on. <laughs> he has two legs. Oh my God. <laughs> they used to think he was a Tavia. <laughs> of Batavia, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they think, yeah. they think the reason they condemned him yes. was because he wasn't going to come back as a man. But you slaughtered the pigs. Hmm. Right? Yeah. That's the reason you died. I have no idea what you're <laughs> saying. No, I'll take your word for it. But, I don't. But, but what do they? What's the reaction? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Kamawa oh. hey, Maybe he's the inspiration. Okay. Yeah. What, what do they say? Do they say, "Hey, Potash, what yes. happened, man? What's yeah. going on?" Do, do, do they tell you? I could have told you, but it's always the same. Kila mtu adani kukuwa dadan kimaal. Homosexual male. Kimathi is a unisex name. You know, it's both a man and a woman. That's deep. So why not try? Oh, okay, Dr. Timothy Bogwen Jorge. Yeah. Yes. Where do you people get yeah. your funding? Yeah. Because if I was in your job, I would have quit a long time ago. Kitambo. I would have quit a long time because this must be the most frustrating job in the world. Jeff. Uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah, can be, uh, good. Jeff. Yeah. You don't have to be funded in order for you to help. You don't have to be rich in order for you to give a, uh, a shoulder to lean on. We do this from the deepest point of our hearts because I was a victim. You were? Yes. How long? 15 years. Drugs? No. Alcohol? No. Mine uh, was summarized by Dr. Costa Kabulu Mutundu. Mm. It was um, something that was induced on my, drug, uh, on my drink, sorry. Oh. Back in Lomotov. Back in? Lamotov. Where is that? Moscow. Good Lord. My goodness. You, you, you were in Moscow we... yeah. studying. Yeah. And then you went out with some guys or something to a bar? Yeah. Right? Yeah, we won a party. A party? Before graduation. Oh, Lord. That is why I hate the title, yeah. Doctor. Ah. 
Okay, what were you studying? I was studying medicine. I specialized with uh, surgery. And then you went out for drinks, party, whatever, and someone laced your drink. They put something in your drink. Yeah, they put something on my drink. <laughs> this muchele thing they yes, talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that? Blackout. And after that? All the 15 years are blackout. What? Yes. And that is why you have passion to help these guys. To help these guys. For 15 years. For 15 years. You, you, you did not remember who you are. Yeah. Oh. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. Dr. Costa here is the one who came to my rescue the last po minute. Did they, did they send you to a mental hospital? Yeah, Mathari. Uh -huh. I've been in Mathari in and out, in and out. Yes. Yeah. And at Mathari, they would tell you what? You're just another nutter or something, or you're just crazy? No, they're human. Even if you are crazy, you're human. They treat you as a human, yeah. not as an animal. Yes. Yeah. But you could so, and later on, I yeah. came to recover. Yeah. That was back uh, 2006, uh, after being helped by Dr. Costa Kabulu Mutun. And yeah. for 14 years... 15. 15 years now, you've been clean, you've been, for lack of a better word, normal. Yeah. And when you see someone like Costa, uh, like uh, Potash, when you see someone like him, I mean, this is a human being, like you said, and, yeah. and he has potential. Yes. But he's slipping fast. How does how do we get him back on track? Oh, uh, getting him back in, uh, him back on track. Uh, we need to take him to a mental facility. Then we rehabilitate him, and we reintegrate him to the community and also to his future. Would Mavare work for him? Yeah. They will. They will. So, Potash, why can't you walk into Mathari? I mean, and it's voluntary. Anyway. Maybe I thought I'm a qualified psychiatrist. So what? Maybe I'd be selling myself. Doctor Timothy, yes. um, can Mathari help him? I'm, I'm going to ask it again. I mean, what's the average? Thirty thousand a month, huh? A month. Oh, it's not that much. Mm -hmm. Coming yeah. together, you're for, coming together for a national treasure. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a thousand yeah. shillings that a day. That is the problem. Yes. That's, That's the problem. We we make more for wedding, we make yeah. more for funeral. Yeah. We wait for the funeral. But when so somebody is, actually, actually, people spend that much in a bar in one night. Yeah, <laughs> but that's another story. Yes, zero seven two zero. Yes, seven one nine six. Four, nine. We're going to be putting this out on all our Twitter and uh, yes, Instagram yes, and yes, Facebook yes, handles. Yes. And we'll also put the pay bill number for Rewind yes, because I think you guys yes, are doing yes. an incredible job yes. and um, you need all the help you can, yes. you can get. Yes. Um, because it is a problem. These it, young people are literally being yes. wiped out. Oh. We, and, we, and, and in front of our eyes. Yes. We don't we, care because yeah. we don't see. Uh, until Potash walks up to a vehicle Yes. And someone recognizes him. Yeah. Yes. Most of us, we just pull up the window. Yes. Yeah. We pull it yes. up and we say, "Ah, oh, hey, we are not going to some more." Yeah. Mm. Also, Jeff, yeah. we have another problem. Go on. When a patient comes to you, some don't roll up the windows. They give them twenty shillings, thirty shillings, fifty shillings. Where, cool whereby enough. you are destroying the patient more instead of helping. Mm -hmm. Because once you give 20 shillings and he's a drug addict, mm -hmm. what have you done? Straight to drugs. Akikwiti yeah. shachai. Pelaka ya hoteli, a pele chai. Pati yo chai. Yes. That is what I do yeah. at my place. Even at, at some point when I was well, because mm -hmm. right now I'm down, I was buying a five litre uh, jerry can of porridge. I keep it at my workplace. Because you don't have to come and tell me, give me 20 shillings, I go for tea. No. If you come, you tell me about it, this is the car. Take your porridge. Folks, again, if you're feeling what we are feeling here, mm -hmm. you can help. That's what doctor and doctor are saying. You can help Potash come back from his oh, yes. psychological yes. disillusion, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that. <laughs> the number, 0720 719 That is Potash's mother's number. Her name is Catherine Jorogi. Yes. Whatever you can send. Yes. It's not that much, folks. It costs 30,000 shillings a month to rehabilitate someone mm. at Madare. Yes. He'll be there a few months. Yes. And you never know. He could come back and write that Oscar winning script. Yes. Yeah. You never and, know, folks. Uh, yes. I love the research. Know. There is hope. There is hope. So, whatever you can do, let's mm. help this young man out. Yeah. And there are many yeah. Potashes out there. There are many yeah, Potashes. So many. So many. But 
Yes. We can begin with this, this one. one. Yes. He does idea how we give it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and Just you know, help this one. Yeah. yeah. The, the, uh, as a mother, you know, seeing your son eh, rising and becoming a superstar. You know, and then all and of a sudden falling all the way to what is the, what is the journey? Yes. You know, that's that feeling. Uh -huh. mom, mom is around. Let, let yes. mom have the last word. What do you yeah. say? Yeah. Mom, Catherine, put on care now to have a. Just w w give us your thoughts, just your feeling. When yeah. you have the last yes. word and you want to help this boy, yeah. you want to help this boy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Working so hard to see that my son is back on himself. Mm -hmm. I cannot name them all, but I really appreciate their help because I know there are many out there, yeah. and especially his friends and uh, schoolmates and university guys. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so grateful. I still feel so depressed to see all my effort. Yeah. For my life, I have worked for my son, trying to give him the best. So it's, it always hurts me to see him the way he is. And but I've been trying and trusting God that the darkest hour is just before dawn. Oh, and so yes. I want to believe as a servant of God, as a person who has been praying for my son, yes. this could be the darkest hour. I'm looking forward to see great things happen and to see my son being what he was created to be. Wow. I'm happy for this opportunity. I really had uh, refused it, but uh, I just want to believe that. This is God's timing, it is, and I really appreciate wow. what you are going to do for my son. The words wow. of a mother. I thank you in advance. The words of a mother, God people. Mm -hmm. And whoever will stretch forth her or his heart towards this noble cause, yeah. may he never lack, or may she never lack, or the way was never run dry. And in the number, amen. amen. The number again is zero seven two zero. Seven one nine, six four nine. Zero seven two zero seven one nine six four nine. Like mom says, whatever you can give, it will really go a long way to getting her son back. Doctor Costa Mutundu yes, Kaburu, yes. you get the last word. Yeah, uh, mine is on the side of the government, either the county government. Yes. Mostly that is where I'm really crying. We have mental health departments. We have mental health department, but with a lot of challenge. You know that in Kiambu, we have only one psychiatrist nurse, doctor. Uh, the doctor, psychiatric doctor, who is Dr. Mashua, who is also a volunteer. There is no, Dr. Mashua is a volunteer. And uh, it has been said that in every uh, level four and the level five hospital, it, we must have at least a psychiatric nurse. But this is not enough. And I would like the, our new governor, uh, governor Njoro, to, Njoro, to come in the ground eh, and see what is going on. Our facility is not enough. We, we if we can come and create one mental hospital in Kiambu we will not even talk about Kasoba because Kasoba is not even dealing with the drugs it's not dealing with it is bring only about uh, alcohol so we are really begging them to help for example in Wangige uh, we we have a psychiatrist nurse there uh, 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 madam uh, uh, Jenga who is really trying to do something good with the help with the, another doctor called Eric Mbaya. They are doing some good work and that's why we'd like really the governor to help and put mental health the way it's supposed to be in Kiambu. Yeah. We, Kiambu is worse. Otherwise the inmates are going to yeah. take over the oh, asylum. It, is, oh, yeah. it will That's become worse. worse. Yeah. Good Lord. Dr. Costa Mutundu Kaburu, thank you so much. Dr. Timothy Mbogwen Jaroge, yeah. thanks so much for your time. And uh, Catherine Jaroge, the yeah. mother, yeah. who says it is always darkest before, before dawn. dawn. Please, 
Whatever you can give, folks, let's help this young man. I, he, the potential is yeah. there. He has what it takes. Yes. He did it once. Mm. He got script for what? Nairobi Half Life. <laughs> he can do it again, folks. Yeah. Potash, Charles himself. Let's put him back on track. Mm. Number again 0720 719 649. Whatever you can give will go a long way. Like Tupac said, Dear Mama. Thank you very much, folks. Yes. Thank you. Wow.